This is going to be a really good one. So something I've not done in a while fishing is going a true adventure. Something where it's just a complete wild card with little idea of what to expect around that next corner. Lucky for me, right now it's early July. I have a few days off from work and I'm gonna do just that. And this is as far up the road as I've ever gone before on this river. And other than limited knowledge of what I could gather from sites like Google Maps and Onyx, what is above me and upstream, I have very little idea. So I put together a backpack. I got fly rods, camping gear, and food, and I'm hoping to spend a day and a half upstream of here seeing what these waters can potentially hold. Hopefully cutthroat, and hopefully some bull trout. All right, got the bag prepped, got it on. It's already hot and I'm already sweating. I got a whole nother like mile to hike before I get to the first decent looking pool. But uh, I'm excited, let's go get it. All right, well after a couple hundred feet of decline, got down to the river, it's looking beautiful. I also got lucky and found a few, not completely ripe yet, but uh, a few huckleberries. So, should hopefully be some ripe ones a little bit further up the way, but it's a good start. I'm so happy to be back out on this river. So I've been walking up the river for about an hour and a half now. I've made it close to a mile, which I'm pretty stoked with. That's pretty good time for how rugged this terrain is. So far, it's just been like nothing but pocket water, little pools, nothing crazy until I got to this spot right now, which looks really good. The pool is half in the shade, half in the sun, which I really like. I really find bull trout to be pretty put down in the sun. I'm thinking this spot's going to be a pretty good indicator of the quality of cutthroat fishing and maybe even bull trout fishing um, that uh, this upper part has to offer. So I'm going to rig up my six weight. I just brought one rod, has interchangeable tips, and I brought a switch rod. So I don't have a trout spay yet, I'm working on it, but I think it would be pretty fun to swing up a bull trout. So we'll give that a good shot this trip too, but I think we'll start with the, uh, the dry dropper and uh, see if we can't pull it cut throat out of here. First fish.
Oh my gosh, I just had a monster bull try to eat it. Just had a big bull trout come eat my streamer. I'm shaking. All right, got the switch rod all lined up. I have about 10 feet of T11 on there, just a sparkle minnow. I'm hoping that'll get the job done. I poked it, but not good. That fish was still chasing it. I think I poked him twice. He ate it two different times. So smaller, flashier presentation. See if I can get him from uh, a little bit further upstream. Our first uh, rainbow. Well, as much as it hurts me, I hate leaving bull trout. Fished the spot pretty good. Streamers, nymphs, ran everything through it. He didn't want to come back. I know there's like a 24, 25 inch bull trout in there, but I'm gonna go up to the next pool get packed ready. I stayed here a little later than I was hoping, but uh, that's okay. We'll see what uh, is uh, hanging out around the next bend. It's just a good sign there's bull trout here. So after about another mile and a half of hiking, took an hour, about two hours for me, almost dark. Finally got to the pool I was really hoping would be as good as it looked on Google Earth. Got over here, had to scale some crazy high gradient water. Uh, there's some big cliffs on the sides, it's pretty gnarly, but made it here in one piece. And honestly, it looks money. I was hoping it wouldn't be too low, but it's a big deep pool, island, and this is kind of like the stuff that I really think bull trout hang out in, personally. So, I'm really excited. In the evening here, make a few casts. I passed a lot of good water coming up here, so we have a lot of good stuff to hit tomorrow, but I'm super stoked. I really, uh, after missing that bull trout this morning, or this afternoon, and, and getting up here, uh, I'm, I'm thinking something special is gonna happen.
So I fished that hole a little bit, caught a few cutthroat. I just really quickly ran a streamer and a nymph through there to kind of see what was hanging out. No bull trout. I didn't think. I don't think I moved any. But uh, I'm gonna give it a break. It's already getting dark. I'm gonna eat some dinner, sleep under the stars, and uh, wake up early tomorrow morning. And hopefully hit it pretty good. Got a good full day worth of uh, pools downstream of me to hit. So fingers crossed. I'm feeling good about it. All right, day number two. So I just slept here on this island last night and it was amazing. It was warm outside, there were tons of stars out. It was great, it was peaceful. Woke up this morning to a little bit of cloud cover. Nothing crazy, but definitely uh, something to keep an eye on because some of the clouds are a little dark and moody. And this place can uh, have a lot of uh, variable weather, I guess is the best way to say it in the summertime. So things can switch up pretty quick but I'm gonna keep an eye on it I'm gonna get camp packed up get breakfast going but luckily for me I don't have to walk far to the first pool so at the very least there should be a ton of cutthroat in there hopefully there's a bull trout in there somewhere if not there's a ton of good water in between me and the truck and where I'll be working today so have a lot of good pools marked on my map to hit as I'm working my way down I'm sure there's some big bowls in there somewhere. If I poke one, we'll see, but uh, at the very least, it'll be a blast just catching cutthroat.
is our first bull trout. <laughs> there we go. First bull trout on the sparkle minnow. There's a nice cutthroat. It's a good one. Pulling hard. water cutting. Another nice fish on the sparkle minnow. The pops right out, barbless. size of that white fish. <laughs> Wouldn't have guessed that. 
All right, I'm only about a quarter of a mile from where I started hiking, but I'm here at a really good looking pool. One I passed up on yesterday just due to time constraints. It looks really good. It's in the shade right now, which is big, I think, for bull trout. If not, there should be a lot of cutthroat in here, and hopefully we can pull some of those out. But it's been an awesome trip so far. It's good to kill it when I killed it. I've seen a lot of cool country, beautiful river, and uh, who knows, maybe it'll be some last minute magic. All right, just got back to the truck. Finished up with that trip. What an amazing trip. Didn't get the big bull trout like I was hoping for, but had an opportunity at one, which is really cool. And saw some just country I'd never seen before. It was absolutely stunning every single second of it. So caught some beautiful cutthroat, had a great time. And uh, yeah, it's hot outside. I'm sweaty and tired. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. This was a fun one for me to make, so. Uh, I like doing adventures like this. Hopefully I'm able to do some more soon. So, so yeah, I'll see you next time.